So I think we have the ingredient for, I hope, a very interesting session. And uh, without further ado, I hand over uh, to my friend on the left. Please do the introduction. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, welcome to the UAE, first of all. And uh, uh, my name is Amar al Ghafri. I'm the head of the Space Engineering Department at MBRSC. Uh, in general, the UAE uh, looks at space as a important and critical sector driving the bigger uh, goal, which is science and technology here in the UAE. Uh, we started back in 2006, so in a very short, maybe 16, 17 years uh, time frame, uh, the goal of the UAE in the space sector was always to uh, make uh, the UAE a leading nation uh, when it comes to space and space projects. Uh, we started with Earth observation satellites, we moved into uh, space exploration missions, and then we had uh, astronaut program, and now we have uh, robotic systems that will go uh, uh, to the moon. So tomorrow we have a launch. Uh, I hope people will be able to, to uh, watch it. It's a very unique mission it's called the Rashid rover. It's a very small uh, rover. Uh, nevertheless, uh, has a lot of uh, scientific uh, implementation of uh, instruments. Uh, flying tomorrow and then hopefully reaching the surface of the moon uh, within four months. So looking at this specific mission and then going back to the uh, 60s when the U.S. decided to uh, land a man on the moon, that's how far space has gone and then that's how fast the UAE has gone with its own uh, project. So uh, the direction from the <coughs> UAE and the UAE government is Let's make sure science and technology is the aim and the strategy behind this project. And then we added other elements to our strategy, which is economy. So we must have economical growth linked to space uh, projects and space activities. And beyond that, let's ensure that the private sector is involved in our uh, project. So as we go with our projects, we try to localize technologies that we eventually, I mean, typically we would buy from uh, other international partners, but we will try to make sure that there are local uh, private sector that is involved in our projects, that is investing in our projects, and as well as making sure that the economical growth of the space sector will shift from fully dependent on uh, government funding and backing towards self-dependent with private sector being involved, providing solutions that can find, the, let's say, the, the partnership between the government and the private sector. That's on the, 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 the journey that we have taken so far. Uh, of course, along the way, and the beginning was focusing on the human capital. So we have to have engineers, we have to have scientists involved in these projects. Uh, it's, it's easy to come and say, we're going to buy a satellite, we're going to launch it, and then we'll have uh, services or, let's say, uh, applications on the ground. But this key uh, focus on the capability of building the uh, human capacity, human uh, engineering skills and uh, uh, science, this is the focus that we wanted to make sure is implemented. And that's how the number of uh, engineers and scientists involved in our uh, space sector have grown rapidly in the past uh, few years. So we moved from 15 up to thousands <coughs> now involved in our space projects. And that's, that's what we want to focus on as we go forward. Uh, in general, you cannot do space projects alone. So we try to also, as one of the main pillars of our strategies, to ensure that international cooperation is key and within the difference, the different geopolitical alliances that are there, the, the turbulence that are happening globally uh, when it comes to uh, economies or policies of international uh, partners, we try to ensure that our focus is the uh, uh, clear uh, science and space exploration. And that's what we do with our project. So we started back in 2006, working with uh, South Korea, 
uh, and then uh, Russia for the launch, and then uh, US for the launch, and then we found partners, uh, very st strong partnership with uh, France in our existing projects. And then we expanded when we did our human space flight to Japan, Australia, and many other, and Canada, so many other uh, international partners who are now involved in our projects. And we don't do that because we just want partnership. We want to make sure that one thing is we don't want to reinvent the wheels. So whatever has been achieved by others, can, we can benefit from it. The second thing is sometimes international cooperation is essential to make successful uh, space programs globally. And that's, that's what we want to stress on. So if we have uh, an instrument and that we can put on another mission that is launched by the US or by Europe or vice versa. That, that's, the, that's what we need in our a global space community <coughs> and space sector, I would say. Uh, maybe I can conclude by uh, saying that uh, one of the uh, directives that we want to do next is, uh, is making sure the UAE is a hub where international partners can come in, uh, where uh, global players can come in and take uh, the chance that the UAE has this, let's say, diverse, uh, very uh, accepting, as well as uh, strategic thinking towards uh, the future of space. We have uh, a program called Mars 2117, where we hope <coughs> in the year 2117, there will be a city on Mars, and that cannot be achieved without international cooperations, without enabling the youth, uh, without uh, making sure that whatever we do, uh, we do it in a very transparent and very clear uh, scheme. For example, in the UAE, we have a very clear uh, project for space focused on the military and military application, and that's what we, our armed forces have done uh, in uh, previous projects. And we have a very clear, uh, transparent uh, civil uh, program where MBRC and many other entities are involved. We have a very clear commercial space sector where YASAT and many other players are also involved in. So cl uh, transparency and, cl uh, and cl uh, clearance is, is what we believe enables the UAE to, be have, uh, to have that uh, very good relationship with all international partners around the world. Thank, thank you, Amel. Uh, thank you, first of all, the welcome word and uh, for setting the scene uh, very clearly and uh, notably uh, the tensions uh, between uh, the public and the private agenda. Uh, that won't be uh, an easy one.